Hi everyone, just a quick one for you today. I've just wasted half the day on this, I'm not kidding. And I've come to a little bit of a revelation. So this Specky has been exhibiting phantom key presses. I noticed it when I was playing Manic Miner. If I tried to jump and move right, the game re uh, reset. And that's because there was a phantom key press on a key which was which resets the game. Now I've had um, chips out of this, I've been scoping around for hours, I've been swapping keyboards, membranes, backplates, putting tape over everything trying to stop interference. And I think I've sussed it, I've just sussed it now. So let me show you my setup. I've got a Spec Plus running an issue 2. It's an upgraded one. Um, new keyboard membrane. This is just running a diagnostic ROM for me. Brendan's. Brendan's diagnostic ROM. And I'm connected via composite cable. And if I swing you around, composite cable is connected to this little nifty TV. And if I zoom in down here, sorry for the mess, I have an extension with my PSU for the Specky on the right. This is my lights. And this is the power for the small TV. Now watch what happens when I press space and P together. Everything on that, um, those two rows, if you and if you know the keyboard schematic, that's um, two rows worth of keys, all associated with one keyboard input on the ULA is pressed. I can repeat that, I'll show you again. I'll hold space, and I'm getting some phantom presses. In fact, just holding space was enough to do it then. Let's do it again, I'll press space and P. Very quickly, all of those keys get pressed. Now, I'm going to unplug these lights, it's going to get a bit darker, and this TV, and repeat the process, I'll reset, K for the keyboard test, I'm going to hold space and P. I'm going to hold it for maybe 10 seconds, so it's a real good test. Okay, let's go back to the TV. I'll plug it in, and I'll let it power up. As you can see, only space and P have been pressed. Now, let me press space and P now quickly. Everything gets pressed. So the source of these phantom key presses is noise due to this switching power supply, I believe, for this cheap TV. And if you're anything like me, you've wasted a lot of your life trying to figure out why you're getting phantom key presses and almost ran out of electrician's tape covering everything up trying to figure out the source of it. So, PSA, be really careful about your mains power arrangements when you're testing these things. After all, these are basically RF transmitters, very sensitive to noise. And that's it. Sorry for the quick rushed video, but I wanted to get this message out there as quickly as possible because it was an absolute epiphany. Let's do it again. I'm going to do it one more time. Space and P presses all those buttons, phantom key presses. Unplug the TV. Repeat the process. Space and P. Released. Plug the TV back in. No phantom key presses. Now I'll press them again. And here they all are. 
I hope that was useful for you. Comment below if you've had this problem before and if you found this solution and then tell me why you didn't tell me because I've lost my mind with this thing today. I'm very happy to have it solved.